I have to tell you, when I saw the, the Singapore Airlines uh, story, it really just absolutely scared scared me because I'm a frequent traveler mm. and I know what it feels like when you hit turbulence. And now this Qatar Airways story, and, and here's, the, you know, and you hear of, of the, the stories of people flying within the plane and the, the massive injuries. Is this going to be more of a reality? I'm afraid that is the case, Delaney. The scientists will tell us that as the climate warms, uh, it warms the planet in an uneven manner, both by latitude and altitude. And as a result, the jet streams um, come in conflict with each other, become stronger as well. And as aircraft are flying through the air, you have to think of it as flying through kind of a layer cake, through rivers of air, which are going in various directions at very high speed. And they're very narrow, but if you hit the wrong one at the wrong time and have a sudden change or a drop in lift on the aircraft, you're going to get that sudden departure. I will say this, listening to that passenger say, she had her seatbelt on because of what happened with the previous incident. That does make uh, hearten me a little bit that people are paying attention and understand that while you're in your seat, why not keep that seatbelt at least loosely buckled because uh, it's very likely you'll prevent injury when these unexpected things happen. Yeah. Well, that's that was my question. You know, um, it, it's just like one seatbelt that basically goes around your waist. And I'm wondering in terms of the number of injuries we've seen, whether all of those passengers weren't actually wearing their seat belts, belts versus the injuries, you know, if you are wearing a seat belt. I, I wonder what the correlation is here. Um, because when you hit turbulence of, of that nature, will a seat belt fully protect you? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, we could, I, I don't know the actual statistics. I will tell you this, that about 80% of the injuries associated with turbulence are for the flight crew. Uh, I guess that stands to reason. These are the flight attendants who are up and about serving meals, and it's a pretty hazardous job, mm -hmm. obviously, when you hit this so-called clear air turbulence. So I would suggest uh, you, you greatly increase your chances of not being injured. And I will tell you this, Eleni, I've, I've got a little airplane model here. If you're a little bit of a white knuckle flyer, sit near the wings. Because think about it, it's sort of like a seesaw as it goes through the air. And if you're at the nose or the tail, you're going to get a little more of a wild ride. But if you sit, sit near the kind of the pivot point, it's going to be a little smoother for you. So buckle in tight. Um, make sure you uh, are sitting near the wing and uh, realize this. Uh, the turbulence is not going to bring the aircraft down. And that's not what we're talking about here.